In 66 AD, the first Jewish war, the first Roman Jewish war, was set off in what is now Israel-Palestine um, in a nasty little ceremony in which um, members of the local Greek-speaking population deliberately offended Jewish religious ceremonies by conducting a pagan animal sacrifice in front of the synagogue of the city of Caesarea. Uh, the result was a long, brutal, and utterly pointless war um, that uh, resulted in the siege and fall of Masada, among other things. It's a fairly famous war in the ancient world. And a lot of people today, especially I presume in Israel, are quite familiar with it. Um, a stupid, stupid war, simply the result of a spiral of provocation and counter-provocation between two communities that were very, very different. Um, I'm not going to say that burning Qurans is likely to set the West and the Islamic world um, at each other's throats, literally, in an all-out war, but I do see um, Burn a Quran Day as part of a spiraling series of deliberate provocations coming from both sides. Burning flags or um, calling the United States the great Satan um, is pretty much on a level, at least in terms of shock value, uh, as burning a Quran is um, in the West. These are completely pointless provocations that don't really achieve anything, but do have, when added up over a long period of time, have the possibility of toxifying the atmosphere to the point where an explosion could take place. Twenty years from now, if we're looking around at a nasty uh, world, a nastier world than it is today, where there really is an actual overt conflict taking place, a war uh, involving um, the, uh, roughly speaking, the Islamic world and the West, or there's uh, re relations have broken down to the point where um, there's a constant low-level war, something like between the Israelis and the Palestinians, I wonder how much of that we will be able to tell then, 20 years from now, in hindsight, was the result of stupid, avoidable provocations. We've got to look beyond this, because I rather suspect that people are going to, after Bernard Karande, come up with things that are even more offensive to put on the internet, more repellent to wave in each other's faces. It doesn't take much of an, Im an imagination to come up with something even more offensive than burn a Quran day or burning an American flag, something even more frightening than 9-11 or the invasion of Iraq. Where are we going? And why? Thank you.